so dear students let us start with a fresh new chapter inheritance and variation in cbsc this chapter is called as principles of inheritance and variation in this chapter will study about heredity or inheritance so what is heredity or inheritance the transmission of genetic information from one generation to other generation is termed as heredity or inheritance this mechanism was investigated even before the chromosomes or genes were discovered the term genetics was coined by w bateson in 1905 it includes two important concepts that is heredity and variations what is heredity heredity is similarity with the parents that is similarity of offsprings with the parents and variation is the differences that are shown by the offsprings with regards to their parents let us see talk about clones clone is always a product of asexual reproduction clones are monoparental they are formed by mitosis there is no recombination of genes whereas offsprings if you compare they are the products of sexual reproduction offsprings are biparental meiosis takes place prior to fertilization and after fertilization mitosis will occur it involves recombination of genes so it results in recombination in this chapter we will again and again come across this word offsprings now let us see the story of a great man gregor johann mendel gregor mendel was the first one to give accurate explanation of inheritance by using hybridization techniques he was born on 20th july 1822 in a poor german farmer's family in silesian village in heinzendorf which is now a part of czechoslovakia that time it was a part of austria he got his early education in a monastery monastery is a place where people go for worship and take education monks usually take education so he he got his early education in monastery in bruno which is now brunn of austria he was ordinated as a priest of augustinian monastery he was an intelligent child so he was sent to university of vienna where he studied mathematics physics and natural sciences later he returned to bruno and he continued to work as a priest and a teacher in the same monastery and there was the place where he started his experiments on pea plant he is considered as father of genetics now why did mendel select pea plant for his experiments this pea plant has bisexual flowers having both the floral essential floral whorls androecium and gynoecium so they can carry out self fertilization pea plants are annual so more than 3 crops could be obtained in a year they have sharply defined inherited characters cross pollination could be easy achieved easily he studied seven pairs of contrasting characters pea flower shows vexillary estivation if you remember vexillary estivation shows a standard a big petal on the side there are two wings or alleles ali and in the center two petals they join to form a boat shaped structure called as keel or carina so pea flower shows vexillary estivation and it has diadelphous anther diadelphy there are 10 stamens in all they form two bundles nine stamens are fused together the filaments are fused together anthers are free so nine two forms one bundle and one remains separate so two bundles are formed listen carefully filaments are fused anthers are separated forming two bundles that is diadelphy emasculation could be done easily what is emasculation it is removal of anthers cutting of anthers before anthesis before formation of pollen grains so emasculation could be easily done which benefited hybridization now mendel studied the following traits in pea plant 
he studied seven different traits some traits were dominant which expressed themselves in the first generation some were recessive the first character he studied was height where tallness was dominant shortness was recessive second character seed shape round shape of the seed was dominant wrinkled shape was recessive seed color yellow color was dominant green color was recessive seed coat color green color was dominant white coat color was recessive the pod shape inflated full pod shape was dominant character whereas constricted or flat was a recessive trait pod color green pod color dominant character yellow pod color recessive character recessive trait flower position axial flower was a dominant character when a flower is produced in the axis because, because of axillary bud dominant character if it is produced on the apex by apical bud terminal flower was a recessive character so he studied the seven pairs of contrasting character that is 14 varieties overall let us see a very important part how did he carry out his experiments so mendel carried out his experiments in three steps question is asked on this part for two marks or three marks first step was he selected always pure breeds as parents he planted tall plants if even one or two were dwarf he used to remove them throw them discard them again he grew this for second generation again even few were dwarf he removed them threw them again third generation he grew them again he saw that all were tall similar experiments he carried out for all different 14 varieties so he selected pure plants for all seven characters afterwards he carried out hybridization between two pure varieties by emasculation he emasculated removed the anthers of one flower one variety treated them as female and he carried out hybridization cross pollination between two pure breeds and he obtained f1 generation later the third step was f1 generation was allowed to self pollinate so that he could obtain f2 f3 generations and he maintained a pure proper record he used the knowledge of mathematics and statistics he was an intelligent and a meticulous man so these three steps were performed or carried out by mendel what are the basic terms used in inheritance study first we'll study about gene mendel did not knew the word gene he used the concept factor let us see what is a factor it is the functional unit of heredity we know what is a gene gene is a functional unit of heredity material chemically we know it is a segment of dna mendel did not knew mendel just knew something is there which is acting as a hereditary material passing from parents to offspring and he called it as factor we now know factor is nothing but a gene which is a functional unit of the hereditary material present as the segment of the dna this term gene was coined by johansen mendel called it factor let us see what is a character any feature of an organism when we see to a person also we say the person is fair the person has curly hairs blue eyes so height of a stem color of a skin shape of a seed any feature physical feature of an organism it is termed as a character what is a trait an inherited character which we get from our parents and its detectable variant it is termed as a trait for example tallness or dwarfness it is inherited from the parent and tall has a detectable variant dwarf round seed has a detectable variant wrinkled seed so these are traits let us see interesting concept what are alleles or allelomorphs i will try to explain with the help of a diagram listen carefully students very important definition allele is a pair of gene present on homologous chromosome at the same loci 
for example this red color is a gene for blood group which you obtain for example from your father and this is suppose a gene again which is blood group you obtain from your mother and their homologous chromosomes everybody knows we have 22 autosomes pair pair of chromosomes called as autosomes and we have one pair of sex chromosomes so all chromosomes homologous chromosomes are always present in pair what are homologous chromosomes chromosomes which are morphologically and physiologically similar so suppose this is a gene which is present on a homologous chromosome one is obtained from father one is obtained from mother and they are present on the same loci loci means position from the centromere so they are allelic pair this is another allelic pair i color one you got from your father one you got from your mother whatever is dominant that color you will have this is the pattern of hair color one obtained from father one obtained from mother so it is a pair of gene present on homologous chromosome at the same loci okay and representing one character and such pair of gene it is called as an allele this is an allelic pair for growth character so there are two or more alternative form of a gene yeah they can be two forms or more forms you'll i'll teach you in some of the future videos what are multiple alleles so there may be two or more forms in these example we are seeing only two forms one from father one from mother and we, as we are talking about only homologous chromosomes so or they are alternative form of a gene and they are called as alleles of each other in this case you will see homozygous alleles capital a capital a both are dominant both are present on the homologous chromosome at the same loci and they are representing the same character dominant character so they are homozygous this is heterozygous one character in the allelic pair on the gene is dominant its partner is recessive so this pair is heterozygous allele sometimes there are interesting example like hemizygous especially if it is present in males they have one x one y x and y are not homologous chromosome so this is the non homologous part color blindness the recessive gene is present on the x chromosome and the gene is absent on the y chromosome as this is present on only one chromosome of the pair it is called as hemi hemi means half zygous okay so your capital t capital t these are homozygous allele because both are representing height tallness capital t small t it is a heterozygous allele because capital t determines tallness and small t is determining the dwarfness character understand students contrasting characters together heterozygous similar traits similar character representing uh, genotypes then it is a homozygous condition and very important they occupy same loci loci position from the centromere blood group same loci on homologous chromosomes homologous chromosomes morphologically and physiologically similar this termed alleles or allelomorphs again was coined by bateson so with this i am stopping here today next concepts we are going to study in next video till that time revise this thank you